Make it so, number one. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Let's Play Halcyon 6. A game which apparently exists in the same strain as games such as Faster Than Light and XCOM Enemy Unknown and Civilization. This is another game which I have started and decided that I'm not probably going to finish because I'm so fucking shit at finishing Let's Plays. But I'm really good at starting them, but yeah. This is Halcyon 6, a game once more gifted to me by Santa Claus himself, Tengu230. So, let's see what Tengu has left me to do this time. Well, it's a game called Halcyon 6. Uh, what I know about this game is it exists in the same strain as XCOM and Faster Than Light. Uh, I've played both of those games, or at least, I haven't necessarily played Faster Than Light, but I've watched a lot of Let's Plays of it, so... I do have a good grasp on the concepts of Faster Than Light, a lot of turn-based ship combat. And uh, XCOM, I used to play a lot on my Xbox. I had Enemy Unknown, which was a game I really did like. And apparently from XCOM, it takes sort of like turn-based stuff and uh, base building. But that's not what we're here to deal with today. Today we are going to be uh, playing Halcyon 6, of course. And what I have gathered from the plot by reading the store page is this is a game all about an abandoned space station built by not forerunners but someone similar, possibly Protheans. And some big dickhead is coming to blow up Earth and this space station is the only thing to stop it. Right, the story will probably be better explained better by the game but we're going to jump right into it. Uh, what do, comments do I have about the menu by the way? It looks nice, good pixely effects. It seems we're really getting into the whole pixely thing, isn't it? It's really the biggest artistic craze, but to be honest, I do like the look of this game. I do like the soundtrack, but hey, let's play the game. Maybe the gameplay will be shit. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm hoping this game will be good. I really am. And I've never had a bad game off Tengu yet, so new game. Let's get right into it. But I do want to play the uh, tutorial, which I believe... I'm guessing main campaign. Um... Uh, right, we do have stuff. Uh, skip prologue. I'm guessing. Yeah, but man, right, the prologue will be the will include the, will include the tutorial. Right. <coughs> um, right. So this starts the Halcyon Six main campaign, uh, and we are playing at commander difficulty right now. So you are experienced with the space strategy games and enjoy a healthy campaign. This is where Halcyon Six is not is played. Um. The only space strategy... Actually, I think this is actually my first space strategy game. I mean, I did say I'd, I, I watched Let's Play as a fast but like, but there's a difference between watching a Let's Play and actually playing the game, of course. So, I'm not very experienced, but... I don't I don't want to play Lieutenant, because it's... I don't, I, don't wanna, I don't want the game to go easy on me, but I'm not sure if I want to play Captain or Admiral yet. Um, let's play Commander, because it's the way the game was apparently meant to be played, so we'll play it as the devs want us to play and we're gonna have a go at the main campaign so we're gonna play through the tutorial today and the next time we're gonna be getting into the main game but let's learn how to Halcyon 6 and save the earth and god damn it the menu music is so nice I have to say I'm, I'm digging this this is giving me like really big chills of Halo Reach and Halo Reach is the best Halo game ever no doubt about it I'm sorry if my friend who really likes Halo is watching I think his favorite's Halo 3 but Halo Reach all the way for me. Anyway, let's start this game and get a Let's Play going. The key to combat is exploring status effects with complementary attacks, says number one. The collective are often confused by hugging, says woman. View the list of keyboard con- oh wait, I guess that was a loading menu. For half a millennium, the spacefaring races of a galaxy fought and conspired against one another for supremacy. Just sounds like any other day when we're playing Civilization. Um, next clip. Do I have to press keys to make things happen? Oh yeah, I do, right. <clears throat> but it was the Terran Foundation, through the ingenuity and bravery of its officer class that ultimately prevailed, so humans rule. Through the discovery and utilisation of ancient artefacts left over from a long dead Prothean race, they put an end to the disastrous series of wars between the factions and then Commander Shepard became the best man ever. One of these precursor artifacts is the Citadel, I'm sorry, I mean Halcyon 6. The crown jewel of a Terran precursor discoveries, the Starbase acts as the Federation's home base in the Halcyon sector, does not look like a Reaper, shut the fuck up. Commanded by Admiral 
Brahmachandar Brahm Brahmachandra Brahmachandra, the Federation's most decorated officer. It's protected by the 12th Fleet. The star base is permanently staffed with a variety of Federation officers with a mission of unlocking its mysteries. Today, however, the station has received some unwelcome news. A garbled hypercast ordering the 12th Fleet's return to Federation space. With the intention of returning as soon as possible to continue with the work on the experiment, Admiral Brechamandra leaves you in charge of the station. Aye, the local cleaner. And uh, we've got to prepare for warp now, apparently. Okay, what warp are we doing? Ten? Uh, yep, there we go. He's just warping to the new Terran Foundation. Commander McLaren. Nice double. Admiral, we've discovered that the rendezvous point and there is no sign of welcoming force. No hypercare signals detected either. Think we're early? Admiral Brahmachandra. Redden your signal detection, Captain. The 4th and 8th fleets are expected to join us as well, and those Titan-class ships should be hard to miss. These are some decent spaceships. They all look like really good assault rifles. Apart from the blobby one. Admiral, I'm picking up something. Definitely not Federation in origin. Some kind of... Earthquake. But whatever it is, it's getting stronger, sir. I've never seen anything like it before. Some kind of portal... Admiral, I'm getting mobile ship readings, all heading for our position. They must be coming out of that thing. And, uh, yep, they all came out of thing and never engages. Unknown hostiles, I repeat, unknown hostiles. We might have to get a little creative here. Alright, uh, it's us. Oh dear, what is going on with those enemies? Commander, they're powering up their weapons. We should take the initiative and attack first. Click on the highlighted button to attack with the incisor beam power. Ooh. Sounds cool, right? Target a spiked alien to fight. That's an alien? It's called Trool. Oh, well, you die, spiked alien who's somehow surviving in space and not asphyxiating. This is why organic space tech does not fucking work. Next, use the backstab maneuver to inflict ship disabled and prevent your enemy from attacking. Okay. Backstab maneuver, right? We're playing like assholes, man, right? This it. Oh, oh, nice. Stealth ship. That is cool. Alright, now select drone swarm attack from the big ship, uh, which attacks all that. Alright, so this is. Right, we're getting to lethal RPG territory here, but release the drone! Now that is painful. Well, that wasn't. Oh, it was not very effective. Uh, some of the enemies have resistances to get certain status effects. You can right click on enemy to view. Alright, oh, so we don't have to do like a bullshit identification turn. Right, what do we know about you? Oh. Well, we know it managed to disappear, but this is cruel, an ocular vessel. It can let, let off a cloud, a chaos charge, chaos beams. Don't know its vulnerabilities and resistances yet. Might have to capture one or something. Fair enough. And oh, it's disrupted our weapons, damn it. But the big guy's powering up a large attack, so we better ac activate a shield, right? So I think this is just a, com a tutorial on how turn-based combat works, which we do know how it works, but yeah. Uh, right, uh... Pretty shield, right? Ain't gonna hit us anymore. And we'll do a bridge shot to uh, try and disable a uh, big guy. And there we go. By the way, combos occur when an attack exploits the ship status effects for ship disabled. Cool. So right, if we exploit the ships being shit, then we get combos, which gives us a load of points. Okay, cool. And oh, all right, he tried to attack us. Didn't really go very well. Now, so that be acid bombs power to... Oh, yeah, because these are like organic ships. Yeah, acid's going to really fuck their shit, isn't it? Right, release the acid. I think... Oh, oh it farted the acid right back at us. Right, uh, oh, dear. That's the engine's got... Oh, we're a little bit fucked, aren't we? Yeah. Oh, well, we can cauterize the hull at least. So, right, we've got a heal power with Admiral uh, with the Admiral's Paladin ship. So, right, you get out of critical condition. Otherwise, you're going to get fucked up. And then let's just uh, finish him off with a strafing one, I guess. Right, uh, target enemy. Right, we'll go for big guy since he's fucked us up with his acid fart. <laughs> hey, one's down. Right, but we, at least we got. Uh, we can we can use the uh, repair drone overdrive. Right, get that repair drone repairing that ship, please. Get it. There we go. And oh. Well, that was a waste of a repair, considering that he just got blasted back to smithereenies instantly then. Alright, well, well, we'll just fuck him up with a doom cannon then. Get rid of him. Yeah, don't mess with someone who has a fucking doom cannon. Oh dear. 
Now the ninja ship's in critical condition and is taking damage over time because the hull's breached, which means everything's getting sucked into space. And if it's not repaired immediately, we're gonna get we're gonna get, we're gonna die. And the crew's panicking there. Right. Uh, we don't have any more uses of. Right, we just have to stasis lock because apparently we have no more uses of our repair moves. So right, stasis lock to disable the enemy. Right. Let's make sure. Yeah. There we go. I've frozen you in time, you bitch. Good. And uh, oh, did it just unfreeze itself? I don't know. There was like a big mess of colours there. Right. Oh well. We'll just we'll just ram it. Fuck it. Totally safe. Did not result in my ship exploding, and he's fucked up. And it's breached my. All right. It did breach my hull. So fair enough. And he's died. Number one. No. Uh, but we can't at least win the battle still. We've lost one, but we killed three. There we go. Solar flare. Get the fuck out of here, you weirdo monsters. And don't come back until we need to get on with the plot. Admiral, we're picking up more of those po Oh, great. So there's more of them coming. Oh. Many more of them. Oh, dear. Yeah, that's too many. We're being... We're being surrounded! Admiral, we need to jump now. Back to Halcyon 6. I've got... Then she blew up. Told you. Oh god, what is that? That thing? Jump now, for god's sake, jump now! <laughs> Commander, we seem to have lost our hypercast link with Admiral Brahmachandra and 12th Fleet because it got fucked up by something that I had like 5 mouths, 7 noses, and it's probably gonna ruin anything it touches. Right. What do we do? Well, we go to Halcyon 6, of course. Starbase, Commander. Am I promoted to King of Earth Space Station, by the way, since he got eaten by the big guy? Do I have to click the mouse, by the way, to move the plot again? Yeah, this is a little bit annoying, but right. With the 12th fleet destroyed and little information as to whether the Federation still even stands, you and your crew are stranded in hostile alien territory, cut off from resupply and in desperate need of more crew. You have little choice but to continue working on Admiral Brahmachandra's experiment to try and unlock the power of the station. Meanwhile, enemies may soon catch wind of a Federation's weakness and use that as an opportunity to strike and claim the station for themselves. Now choose your first officer. Okay. Uh, we've got Lucas Beaumont, Captain Lau, and Isolde Freehold. Now Isolde is clearly Borg, so he can already fuck off. And um, Lucas Beaumont might be Geordie, but with cooler shade. And Captain Lau is Riker and therefore should be picked, but... Yeah, maybe I shouldn't pick on who I who I love the most, maybe on who's probably got the best skills. I mean, we've got a lot of unlockable powers for both space combat and ground combat, but... Right, who do we pick? Well, Lucas Lau or... Well, I'm going to pick Captain Lau because I've already decided, because fuck it, I love Riker. He's like my second favourite character next to Picard. Uh, but Captain Lau was born aboard the TFS Tamerlane. That's already a good ship, born on the Tamerlane. In the middle of a warp jump, leading him to gain the dreaded epithet Warp Baby, which followed him through Kindergarten through to... I can't... What? Why is he getting shit on for being born in a warp? I, I, what? Uh, I don't... Human racism really takes really, really fucking stupid uh, terms, doesn't it? You can basically get racist upon for, like, the stupidest things now. Better soon they'll get... Uh, people like me who have black hair will get persecuted or something for some fucking retard reason. Anyway, his deep-seated resentment about facts has led him to cultivate an almost impossibly optimistic disposition, so he's suppressing all his anger, which is completely and totally healthy. And... yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna pick the guy who's an emotional time bomb. But he's Riker, so I don't care. But he has a Doom cannon, cannon which does 500% damage and can disable his own ships, I think. Uh, he also has fire at will, which means he can make himself very vulnerable, and but it will inflict engines down, right? And uh, backstab maneuver, so we can just go behind someone, and weapon supercharge, which means he can just make himself vulnerable, but his weapons are really, really cool. On the ground, he's got his phaser, his precision shot. His shrapnel grenades and his pipe. By the way, apparently every campaign on this game is RNG, like stuff's randomly generated, so no two playthroughs are the same. But right, I've got ticking time bomb uh, row now. 
tactical officers are the most daring and quick thinking officers in the Federation. Their power repertoire consists of sneak attacks, immobilization attacks and combo attacks while their buff powers can uh, often add aim and damage boosts to friendly units. In space combat, tactical officers are able to command tactical ships, which are the hardest hitting of the three ship classes types. There are tactical ships, engineering ships and science ships, by the way, but yep, I'll have you. You're cool. Sorry to wake you, Commander, by the way, says the computer, but it looks like we have a situation. Is it going to be another portal? Our sensors have picked up a fleet coming at our direction. The system... The signals suggest a pirate. Okay, it's just pirates. We are the normal standard bit bastards you fight early in any game. If it's not barbarians, it's pirates. But we should expect them to arrive here in 46 hours. Alright, oh, so at least they make themselves known. And they give us a time scale of which we know when they're going to arrive. But in case of hostilities, the experiment may be our only hope to defend ourselves. The crew will work around the clock to make the necessary... We, have we like put a really big laser on the space station? I'm assuming... Oh, there we are. Commander, the oncoming fleet, has, as we've detected, has just entered our personal space. It's a single pirate ship, lightly hostile. Patching them through now. Ours, Razub, Toe Slicer, Maca Toe Slicer's not a good name, dude. By the way, why is this, why is this little spaceship like nearly like half the size of our amazing space station? But eh. Federation Star Space. Our scouts detected the departure of your fleet over a week ago. You are now at the mercy of Admiral Yaxib and the Zealots clan. Hand over Starbase and we'll allow you to return to Federation space. Comply or we will compare commence with orbital bombardment. No, you won't. This is the scenario screen, by the way. This screen will appear during missions that require key decisions, such as attacking, retreating, or using an officer to gain a special outcome. Uh, in this case, a pirate fleet is demanding you surrender. Choose a response now. Hint, you should choose to reject the, the surrender. If we surrender, we probably lose the game instantly, right? I don't surrender to shithead pirates. I forgot you Federals love your precursor toys. Prepare for bombardment, Federation scum. Commander, in light of his development, we should begin initiating the experimental uh, starship creation. All right, so it's just a, it was a factory, not a big doom gun. Oh well, I can live with that. Let's build a ship. Uh, the Rogue class tactical vessel is currently the only starship available that we can build. Click on it. All right, so this is a Rogue. Uh, I would appreciate a computer by the way if you were in the way of the stats, but what we do know is 520 hull, 103 aim. That's pretty good. No evasion, so that's pretty shit. Uh, does 52 miles per hour, which is really shit, uh, but it can do up to 87 damage, which is pretty good if we were playing Divine Divinity. But it's a tactical ship and it can do harass, which means it just hits things, and it and if it, the enemy sensors are offline, we get a big bonus. Uh, crippling shot, that basically cripples an enemy and can inflict their engines to go down. Or teleport explosives onto the ship, because you are a complete and total dickhead. Which is really good for making ships very vulnerable, or if it, the ship is already vulnerable, you're going to fuck them up. Alright, let's build a rogue. It's a nice looking rogue. It's not the best looking ship. It looks a bit like a, a Chinese takeout box, but I'll have it. But right, this ship will take these many days to build. Three days! Alright, so the pirate's just going to sit there for three goddamn days going, right, yeah. I'll bombard you in three days, eh, mate. I think they're going to they're, they're gonna attack us now, actually. It's a bit retarded when you leave your entire space station defenseless, by the way, but whatever. Uh, to skip time, you will need to return to the star map. Okay, so, right, uh, skip time, fine. You just chill there for three whole days. I'll uh, send you some uh, a game of Scrabble or something for us to play. Right, three days have now passed. We are ready to launch in T-minus three seconds. Two seconds. One second. Achievement unlocked. Tier one ship. Oh, wait, so we do have a Doom laser? Or... No, that's just the door. It's a nice door. Commander, the experiment was a success. All scans suggest this newly constructed ship to be combat ready. She just requires an officer to command her. Click to continue. Right, Riker, the time bomb, you're on it. Can I rename characters by the way? I, I just want to rename him Riker. I can rename the ship though. Uh, bef yeah, before... Can I... Oh, right, I need to return to... Oh, God, I want to I wanna rename the ship now, but right, good. I can name all the ships. People start commenting ship names for me and I will use them. But the enemy ship is stationed at the Starbase approach. Okay. Uh, click. Right, Starbase approach. So that's where the enemy is. The approach to the Starbase. Any enemy fleet. Are we lighting like a load of clouds or something like the Citadel of Mass Effect, by the way? If so, that's pretty cool. But right, uh, yeah. We'll uh, send our fleet there, even though it's already there. And uh, let's add, uh, add the rogue. Uh, can I rename the... No, I can't rename the fleet. Right. 
I'll rename the fleet later, but right. Uh, launch this fleet now just to get rid of D Bumhole Pirate, right? Attack Pirate. Right, so now it's my turn to uh, try it. Right, oh, we get. Oh, this is good. Right, lethal RPG, take notes. I can see whose turn is upcoming, so it goes me, him, me, him. It's not that hard, lethal RPG, to do this shit, but right. We can harass, uh, cripple, or teleport explosives. Right, well, if we could get the ship to be vulnerable, then we could teleport the explosives to finish the job. So, or we could cripple it and uh, ruin his engine so he can't run off. That's actually the only thing we can do. Uh, right, we'll go for a crippling shot and uh, blow up his engines. Ah, <laughs> your engines! Oh, god damn it! He attacked the space station. Uh, but right, he's got no engines now, so he's fucked. Um, let's just harass him. Man. Let's just pick on him like like an idiot. <laughs> yeah, you can't run away. You can't run away. All right, just keep at it. Just 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 fuck him up. I think when he has no engines, he just can't even fight back. Right, bye bye pirates. Gone, gone and gone. Victory, battle won, rewards 25 diamonds and 33 purple marbles. Cool. My first victory of many. Ah, oh, what is my childhood so terrible? Commander, we have a long range hypercast coming in, putting it through now. From time to time, the leaders of various factions may contact you via the station bridge. Oh, it's oh hello, a hobo. I don't believe we've met. Feel free to refer to me as the other A title that denotes my supreme command over the pirate clans of this sector. Arr. Now, Commander! Or should I say, Acting Commander? My spies tell me would you, I should congratulate you on your new post. <laughs> They've also informed me that your fleet has fled the sector, leaving you on your own. No, because I just blew up your pirate ship, bitch. And so I'm giving you the courtesy of informing you that we will be visiting you very, very soon. As this is... Oh, don't do that. That is creepy. As this is my territory and your station now belongs to me. And I'm looking for you. I've united all the pirate clans. To wow, you did that very fast, Mr. Genghis Khan. But I highly suggest you turn tail and return to Federation space. If you are of another mind, stay where you are and prepare for your deaths. Okay, oh, he's coming. Hello, pirate beardy herbo man. Time for death, Federation Pig says, Chez Slobchurka Gr Grunwald. I will avenge the death of, of Toe Slicer and deliver this station to the Admirax. I applaud your quizzes. Ah, why do people keep calling me what, baby? Next time, apply it more constructively. Okay, and uh, oh dear. Barely a scratch for, and uh, oh dear. Still alive, they're just spraying pain. These are just two like little baby ships. But it goes me, them, me, them. Okay, uh, let's cripple the let's cripple one, then cripple the other, right? No engines for you, you idiot. And oh dear, he's uh, yeah, these he, uh these pirates are very overconfident when they can barely uh, when they can barely scratch a ship that is like the lowest level available to us. You need to rethink your lives, you stupid pirates, but there's your engines and the game makes that weird farting noise again. Right. And right, you know what? Let's just go for general uh, attacks now, just to uh, knock out the sensors and uh, just well kill them off, really. Right, let's go for another shot. So I'll just finish a job on this you now, and then don't worry, uh, guy with red eyes, you're next. But right, uh, you got no engine still, right? I'm assuming he doesn't have any engines, but he he, he only has a uh, one attack bar, which is just spray and pay. Uh, oh, and I get two goals in a row now, by the way, because I'm I'm better than him. You know, let's just cripple him one more time. To start. Yeah, there we go. You got no engines and you got no spaceship, boy. See you later. You know, I think I actually prefer it when I'm out known, but <laughs> just like my childhood where I was bullied all the time. You can always return your fleet to the starbase by... All right, by the way, yeah, let's go... Right, so click on the fleet to return to Starbase, go home, and I can rename your ship. Commander, the crew is eager to regain full sensor capabilities by way. To do that, we will need an extra source of energy. The good news is the tech research team has figured out a way to harness the station's core reactor with a small standard issue diophrium reactor. <coughs> is using that element safe? I'm pretty sure it's a hazardous element, but whatever. Right, so uh, I've clicked on the tech research panel because the game told me to. Here uh, is Jordy 2 and Jordy 3 just having a float around. Uh, click on the diophrium reactor, right? Research uh, diophrium, then. 
tech research on how to build a diophrene reactor on Halcyon 6 to power the starbase. Generates 20 extra power. Go for it. Uh, we have enough diamonds and pearly things, but right. And once we've researched the tech, it's time to create a space in the station for the reactor itself. So click on starbase button. All right. Ah, here we go. Then we go. Oh, wait. We, we haven't explored most of our ship. All right. I thought we'd been on this ship for a while. You, you would think we would explore the area so we knew where to put the coffee mugs and that. But, um, right. We'll just build it directly below the research room. So, uh, we need to assign an officer to the room. Right, uh, Mr. Time Bomb, you can ru run this room. So, there you go. Go and explore it. Uh, it's gonna, t wait, it's gonna take you two goddamn days just to explore a room. And I've put you in charge of one of my spaceships. Oh, God damn it. This is inefficient. Right, oh well, we'll speed up time. Two days to explore a fucking room. This is just absolutely retarded. Oh, by the way, yay, we, we've... All right, you've cleaned it up. Right, fair enough, then. You've cleaned it up, but... That shouldn't take two days. That is really stupid, but right. Uh, show me the location. Show me this room. But yeah, we've cleared the room. <coughs> now that the room is cleared, select the reactor, which we have available to us. It costs 300 diamonds, and it will give us more power. So, very... It's going to take four days to build that. And now returns right. I'm not going to mind. It's going to take four days to build a reactor. It's, build, it's building a fucking experimental reactor, and that could tear the ship into little pieces. So fair enough. Right. Da, 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 just waiting for the days to pass by. And now the station is fully powered, Commander. Our sensors are back online. Good. We know everything. Uh, we've compiled a navigation map of all Federation systems and facilities, and I got another achievement unlocked called Blanket Fort Baron, which I'm assuming is just get the sensors working again. As all members of Federation uh, Officer Class, it is our duty to protect these facilities at all costs. In case of an attack, these facilities will transmit distress signals to us. Depending on the level of danger in the area, you may wish to evacuate them. Distress signals will always be listed in the mission panel listed here. Uh, one of the refineries right now is currently in distress, so I guess we'll go and unstress it. But right, let's uh, have a go to it. And here it is, it's in a nearby nebula, right? Fleet, let's get you going over there. So it's a nebula which contains pockets of rare gas which could be refined into warp fuel by the way. But right, the fuel refinery at Ghost Head Nebula is calling for help against the never before and can't- Oh great, the aliens are back. Great! Riker, you're gonna get killed unfortunately. I still can't rename your ship and your fleet so you're still known as New Fleet. But you'll get a name one day Riker, I promise it. But right, let's just, let's just make our way over there and we've arrived. Oh it's one of us- Oh it's a baby I want, a young aberrant known as Krul. All right, uh, any intel on it, even though it's, we've never seen it before? It's got chaos cannons and brood pods. Those don't, those don't sound very good, actually, but those, they're, they're probably like a rebuild the organic-y thing. Uh, it's vulnerable in the hull, and it's resistant to weapon systems. So I'm assuming the weapon systems are like, like can't be knocked out, but the same thing about his engines. Go, there we go. No engines. Oh, god damn it. He, dis he disrupted our weapons. What a bitch. Right, uh, knock his sensors out there and that might help us. Yep, it did a lot to him actually. He's near enough dead. Right, keep harassing him. Just get rid of him. So much for disrupted weapons. Still got fucked up. Now the office is no longer, well not the office, but you know, the office that is in the refinery is no longer in distress and I got more works and rewards. Thank you. Refinery overseer by voice says, Good thing you managed to turn up when you did, sir. Whatever that vessel was, it would manage to chew up our only sentry ship a few days ago. Oh dear. It did some nasty damage to the refinery too. My crew's pretty shaken up. This is an odd looking refinery, by the way. The good news is we've got some fuel reserves but from before the attack. Just give the word and we'll transfer them over to you. Oh yeah, I, I'll have some fuel then. But this is Ghost Head Nebula Fuel Refinery. It has 175 crew and it generates one fuel per day. Alright, I'll have 15 fuel please then. It's the only thing I could pick, so thank you. 15 more fuel, that'll keep me going. And we'll return to the starbase now, and we can drop the fuel off at the starbase, which means, yeah. By the way, the pirates exist over there. F 15 more fuel for me. Objective complete. That's our first ever quest done, and knowledge is power. We've completed the tutorial, which means we're actually going to call it an episode here. So I hope you've enjoyed, but, yep, we've completed that, and now I'm guessing I'm just free to play the game, you know? With all the recent events, the crew felt it was necessary to create a short briefing for you. Here it is. Briefing entries, upgrade the starbase and fleet, recover federation facilities, investigate space pirates, start the game. Oh, right. So this is where we make our choice of what we do next, but we're going to make that choice next episode. So I hope you've enjoyed today's episode and welcome to Let's Play Halcyon 6 Starfleet Basey Commandery thing. My first impressions of the game, by the way, very, very good. I'm enjoying this game. 
We've only got a little taste of so far, but it looks like this is a game I'm gonna fall in love with, so Tengu, I give you my preemptive thanks. See you later, folks. See you later. Make it so, number one.